hands, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you don't know me, I am Julianne here. I am an Edinburgh based drag queen. I started this YouTube channel to kind of just at least showcase some of my performances for the digital drag that's been happening during the wonderful pandemic times. I thought I'd go a little bit more in depth and maybe share some of my makeup routines, some of my fashion, some tutorials, and yeah, we'll see how that goes. Eh? If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button down below and let's get on into this. So first things first, obviously I'll need to get rid of these little things. And what I've done already is I've already shaved um, my face, not that you can tell. Um, I shaved my brows because I just find it easier. I hate gluing down brows, not having it. Um, but I do shave just like above here on my cheeks and into here. And if there's some bits I just can't get to, I should use these little snips that I use for threads on my clothes. I might just get into some of those little small bits. No, that is not a put from that. That's a lovely spot I had earlier. So first off, primer. So the primer I'll be using is Rimmel London Fix and Perfect Primer. It's been good to me so far. So the foundation I use, I use is the TV Paint Stick by Krylon. Um, I use three, technically I use four, I use four different shades of these. But for my skin I use EF22, kind of this yellowish toned. And I apply that all over. Alright, and once you feel that you belong in the Hills of Eyes cast, beat it out with a beauty blender. All right, that looks good enough. So the next one I go in is with a cream in zero, zero, looks like this. And do our highlights. First off onto the cheeks, right to the nose, up into the T zone. And again, I blend that out. I think I'm pretty pale, like the, the colour that I use doesn't really match my face, but it doesn't match my arms. So, uh, for the base foundation. <laughs> not this cream foundation. I'm not that pale. Thanks a lot. Alright, so then I'm going to move on to my dark contour. So this is NG1. To do it, I'm going to cut from just here the top between like kind of like my sideburns and my hair. I'm gonna break down just above here. Alright, so I'll do that here. And then fill up a little bit more at the top. I always struggle to get this even so That'll do. Alright, uh, we'll blend that out first. Up here as well. And blend that down. Do you find it's obviously doing that process? Kind of get a smudgy line down here. So if it's not even, I'll go back with my cream to highlight that up. So we'll go like that. To set up. So then I use a Krylon powder, translucent powder, and I cover the whole thing. Now that I'm pale again, um, I'm gonna fill in my beard. Now this is one question I get obviously the most, being a bearded drag queen. There's not many of us. But what I use is just a hair colouring material. It's um, Haley Care. You get this off Amazon, you get them in different colours. So I put them in glue, pink, purple, silver. You get them in loads of different colours. It's the easiest way to apply hair. It's just a hair wax. And that's what it looks inside. So also a bit metallic. I just take my finger. And look at that. Back and out. All right, 
right now. It looks like a rimmed fucking smurf on Halloween. Okay, and then my next process for that is I take this ratty ass comb. You can see I, <laughs> I did blue recently actually. And then take a comb and comb the color through. Just be careful going onto your skin with it. We don't want the blue. And because it's wax, like if you've got a big long beard, this can help kind of like shape the beard in a certain way. So if you like it, I like mine. Nice little point, so it's like angular. Not most drag queens want that, but I feel like most drag queens. Right. You actually are going to powder this though as well because it is wet, so you can want it to dry up as much as possible. You can also colour it with eyeshadow. I just find with the eyeshadow it's just really difficult to take off at the end of the night. So don't feel like you have to invest in like a bunch of different colours to match your wigs. You can just use eyeshadow. So that is the beard done for now. What we'll do is we'll wipe off the excess on the rest of our face. Oh wait. We'll start working on contouring the rest of our face. So what I use for um, just colouring in the beard just a little bit more is I use this NYX Professional Makeup Ultimate Shadow Palette. It's this, I'll open up this. And what I do is I take a big fluffy brush and I just take a sweep of the bottom colours. Tap off the excess. Take your card. Line it up. And we'll do the same just round the top of my head. Let's just see. Play an arch brow. Just want my tip of brows. And I love these Give Face Cosmetics um, pencils. I use them for your eyes, you can use your lip liner. Um, I use them as my brow pencil. And so we want to start, I start where my brow normally would be. That's like here. Then I tilt it up here. Going through the pupil of my eye. And I take it again. And I'm looking up to the end corner of my eye. And seeing roughly where it lands. What do you think? <laughs> Alright, I'm doing these kind of little lines at the front, like kind of Sasha Blur esque. To fill those in, I'll take my James Charles palette. And I'll take the blues down here. I'll fill that in, giving it a bit gradient mostly in the main body of the brow. black it just really dulls out what you put on. Some serious cleanup work we need to be had here. So what I'll do is I'll go back to my crown six but this is my fourth colour that I use. I use the 070 which is basically white. I'll go under the whole thing. Nice and sharp along the top as well. I'm going to go in with 
the Revolution Roxaurus palette. And we're gonna work on my nose contour now. So I need to concentrate on this because <laughs> I'm really bad at it. So what I do is I do the tip first. Just so I know where it's gonna end. And then I'm gonna do take this just ever so slightly above it. And I think we're gonna put this into the crease of my eye. Don't worry if it's not even at first. We're gonna go back in with the white. Take a smaller brush and we're gonna make this pop. I'm gonna set this with a uh, this revolution white powder. I'm going to darken the side up just once. Yeah. Now we'll go in with the white down the side. I will cover the eyes as well. Now instead of the white powder, I'm going to use the, just the granulon translucent powder that we use to bake our face. Um, no. So the next product I'm going to use, and we're going to work on the eyes, and we're going to move on to this Give Face Cosmetics. Now this is one of their construction palettes, um, which I have dived into very deeply. Um, I love this. This is brilliant. This colour payoff is brilliant. Um, but the great thing about the construction palette in particular is this one that you build yourself. You can put your own colours into it. Um, they have great preset ones as well. Um, but this just, you can choose whichever colours you want. I highly recommend. Um, there's metallic shades, there's matte shades, anything that you need. So if you were, say, going on a bunch of gigs or just particular colours you really like. Get one of the construction palettes. So I'm going to take this bright shade here. And I'm going to start working on this creep. Look, look at that. Oh god. Take some of that orange put it in the front here to blend in with the bright with the brown of the nose. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I'm going to take the purple and I'm going to go up into this crease. Oh, what I forgot to do, not that it's been a problem actually, is what I normally do anyway, is paired up underneath, just for any fallout. But so far, so good. So I don't really like using pens, um, I like the pen tips obviously to get the points, but I find they just drag a lot of my eyes, I've got really droopy eyes. Um, so what I use is this Kiko uh, Lasting Gel Eyeliner, and it's like, uh, I'll take some of my brush and I use the lid just to help flatten out the brush a little bit more. And then what I'll do is... I'll take a pen as well. Take the black out of my 
So I kind of fed up a little bit, you can see. So what I'll need to do is go back in with my white. So then what I do is now I'm gonna work on the under eye. I like to open it up from the inside. So we see the white that was part of the nose contour. I'll bring it to just underneath. We'll set that with white though. We want it to be as bright as possible. Okay, then we're gonna go back in with the gel liner. I'm gonna bring it direct down. Takes in the first portion of my eye up to where I stopped the white. We're gonna take the pink and the purple. First pink. And bring it down. that you just get off Amazon, it's like a set of like 10 pairs and then I stack two. I also raise them up a little bit as well. You can just see, uh, it gives that little lift, you know. What I've also done as well is I've taken the metallic shade from my construction palette and I also popped it just on the brow, then on my nose as well. What I'm just going to do now, my Roxaurus palette with Revolution. So this is it here. I like to paint the, this, this and this on my palette. Next up is Lips, my, another of my Give Face Cosmetics lip pencil liners. And the thing is with obviously having a beard and a moustache is you don't have as much real estate to overline. Um, I trim my moustache quite high um, so I can get in there and I also trim a little down into the top of my beard so I can get right down. It's not much but it helps. We are going to take the sugar pill, like the lip and vertigo. We're actually giving myself a bit more colour to these cheeks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip back into my Give Face Cosmetics, and take the orange in a big brush, get as much colour as I can, get some life back into this face. What I want to do as well, actually, is. The wig I'm going to be wearing is a little bit darker than the blue that I was able to get. It. So we're going to dip back into the James Charles palette. Also helps to give it a bit more dimension as well. If you put just a bit of an eyeshadow in it. Beards and hair are not just one colour. That's it, pretty much I think I've done it all. So bear with me in a sec whilst I get some drag and we'll see the final look. Okay, 
Okay, so this is the final glam Julianne Hoor quintessential drag look. Hope you have enjoyed the video. It's been interesting to say the least. I always get ready making, uh, I always get ready normally listening to some music, and so it's quite unusual to sit in silence almost somewhat just so I can figure out what the editing process will be. Really, really want to experiment more. Um, I've got so many great ideas coming up since, so please make sure to stay tuned. Please, please, please. There's so much great content coming. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Make sure to like the video, subscribe, and ring the notification bell for whenever I upload my next video. If you want to follow me on my Instagram, it's at Julianne Hoare, and the same for Facebook. Make sure to stay tuned, and I'll catch you all in the next one.